What's up? <laughs> uh, didn't get a chance to talk to you after the game last night. I know you struggled with your shot. Was there anything beyond just the missed shots or just one of those nights? Just one of those nights. I mean, that's how I'm taking it. I mean, I felt like the majority of the shots I took were good shots and shots that I normally take. Um, I mean, everything was just going in and out. And I mean, even the shots I was missing long, you know, I usually miss short. And so I'm making the adjustments and stuff. But it is what it is, you know. All right, people have off-shoot nights all the time. I mean, other than that, I felt like I did everything else. I rebounded, I played defense, got steals, passed the ball pretty well. So, I mean, other than shots falling, you know, that was the biggest thing. But, I mean, other than that, I just got to move on and continue to worry about the next game. So, What's it like being able to play for mistakes? You know, last year, that opportunity might not have been there for you. Oh, I mean, it's great. I mean, for me, just to be able to learn and just be able to have the opportunity to be blessed to be in the position to play and even be able to take 18 shots, you know? Um, a lot of guys that are second-year dudes aren't getting that opportunity. And so for me to be able to learn and just keep on growing as a person and as a young man and, you know, getting my mentality better, you know? I feel like last year, if I was to end up doing that and then coming today, I would be down and I wouldn't be as you know, on to the next one as I am right now. So I feel like I'm growing and I'm maturing. So. What, what do you feel like is, is the biggest thing you've improved on since last year? I would just say my confidence, to be honest with you. I mean, I feel like at this level, everybody can play. And the biggest thing is just your confidence and how much you believe in yourself. And so, I mean, that's my biggest thing is just coming out every game and just showing what I'm capable of, whether it's playing defense, you know, getting steals, passing, just knowing who I am as a basketball player. So. Did you um, not go through a full practice today? Oh, no, I practiced today. Uh -huh. Did you hear something different? <laughs> well, no, no, just because you, you, were, uh, you weren't on the court when we got it. Just oh, curious. okay, yeah, no, no, no. I was, oh, I was watching film with DA. Uh, okay. Yeah, we had just finished practice, so. What's the, <laughs> what's the challenge of practicing when you don't get that many practice, but then there are also a lot of new faces in the practice? Oh, I mean, for us, it's just about getting to know each other. Um, that's the biggest thing, especially when we have new guys. Um, you know, a lot of guys don't make easy transitions as seamlessly as some of the guys that we have right now. So that's kudos to them. And just, you know, being able to have these practices, I feel like just builds camaraderie and, you know, just makes it easier for us to play together. So you feel like that to keep you in bubble wrap just with everybody else that's out right now? I mean, I feel good. I mean, this is one of those things where for me, last year I learned a lot about recovery and just taking care of my body and nutrition. And so this year I've just been really locked in and to trying to be the best version of me I can and just giving 100% to the season, especially with me getting the opportunity that I have right now. So. How's your diet different now? Um, I mean, just more so of like when we're on the road. Um, when I'm in D.C., it's easy. You know, like I have a chef and he cooks and stuff like that. But when we're on the road, you know, the access to food is a little bit harder, especially when you're getting in late nights and you're hungry and stuff like that. So just actually taking the time to look at the menu and instead of ordering the chicken tenders and stuff that's easy, just trying to order stuff that's actually healthy and stuff that'll carry over into the next day. So. Um, what comes to mind when you look at the challenge of the Heat and Jimmy Butler? I mean, right now they're playing great basketball. Um, I mean, for us, our biggest thing is we have to stop them in transition and we have to run them off the three-point line. Um, that's been their biggest thing right now. And then, Bam's playing really good, so I mean, we just got to come out and play as hard as we can and do what we do. Did, did you know Gary Payton when he was in Vegas? I know you're different yeah. ages. You yeah. did know. Nah, we've known each other since we were kids. Yeah. Yeah, so. so how did you guys first meet? Um, what, me and his brother, his younger brother, uh, Julian Payton, uh, ran track together. That was the first time I ever met them, and then from there, I played football with his brother, I played basketball with Gary, so we've known each other forever. So what was your relationship like when you were kids? Um, I mean, he was always a lot older than me, so, you know, it was like he was the guy to kind of look up to, you know, and so now I feel like it's kind of that, that brotherly love type of thing. So. so is it really funny now that you guys are teammates and second time now that yeah. you guys are teammates? No, yeah, I, th I think it's definitely funny uh, just to be able to come out here, and, you know, I think just to represent Vegas and, and everything that we've been through in the city to see it kind of all unfold and come together as one in the NBA is just really it's really cool to just look back and kind of think about how far we've come. So, so yeah. All the steals that Gary gets and mm -hmm. I guess getting his hands on the ball. How yeah. does that rub off on you guys? I feel like it's contagious for me personally. Like just like seeing him get steals, like you just, like I don't know, I feel like anybody that watches basketball and like wants to get better, you kind of learn from guys and you just see his kind of knack for the ball and the little stuff that he does. I mean, I feel like last game, the three steals I got were because I saw the way that he was Xing out on the backside and the way he was playing the passing lanes. And so I ended up getting two steals in the second half just because 
of the stuff he was doing. And so, I mean, defense is contagious, and so is working hard. And so him being able to do that and kind of be that spark has definitely helped us. Thank you. Yep. Thanks, Thanks Troy. Sure.